It's time now for 814 Good. We have Erica here from the Central PA Food Bank joining us now. Erica, thank you so much for hopping on today. Yes, thanks for having me. Of course, yeah, a big time of year for you guys, and you guys are facing a hunger crisis. I mean, not only here, but really throughout the country. It really is, and, and the crisis we're feeling is nationwide. Um, in the 27 counties that we cover for Central Pennsylvania Food Bank, uh, we are seeing more people, uh, in about 250,000 individuals, each uh, each month that we're feeding and one in six children right now are facing food insecurity and so a lot of people might think of the COVID crisis as the height of food insecurity but really we have um, you know surpassed that level at this point and so there is a lot of need out there yes yeah, so of course you just need more supplies now than ever absolutely um, and the best way to be able to help us uh, to feed those who are in need in your neighborhoods really are financial donations and those can be done by visiting our website uh, at a donate now button uh, but we also know that there are people out there who are interested in volunteering doing food drives and so we encourage if you're interested in donating food that you do go directly to your local pantry or soup kitchen to see what their needs are for the season but there's always ways to help out maybe you don't want to monetarily go out and volunteer. There's so many different ways to Absolutely. do that. Uh, I'm hearing that for every $1 donated though, four meals are provided? That is correct. So we do a variety of food sourcing. Uh, uh, maybe a misconception that we only accept donations and turn donated food back into our, our pantries, but that's not true. We do appreciate every donation that comes our way, which is what helps us to keep that cost per meal uh, so low. But we do source uh, product we are really focusing on fresh, nutritious dairy, proteins, and produce at this time. And we utilize the shelf-stable product to be able to offset um, so that you do have food throughout the month. But we really do focus on those uh, fresh local product. Yes, I was about to say the health aspect is a big factor as well. It really is. And we're working to educate uh, those that are in need on how they can really focus on what the most uh, and prioritize the most healthy foods uh, while also having that ice cream or having that uh, piece of cake at a birthday, but keeping those as more as choosing rarely while choosing those fresh produce and proteins uh, more often. Everything in moderation, right? Uh, absolutely. But, you know, these conversations always come up around this time of year, but this is a concern throughout the whole year. It really is. I think a lot of people do think about the holidays and they want to help those that are in need at the holidays. Um, but for us, we're looking uh, for that assistance throughout the entire year because we are helping to feed you know, 250,000 individuals every day. Mm -hmm. I know we have some exciting news. The Holidaysburg Health Hub, it's getting ready to open its doors? Uh, absolutely. So the Holidaysburg Healthy Hub, which is on Scotch Valley Road, we are uh, in the same building where the uh, American Rescue Workers Holidaysburg were located. We've done a big renovation there and we're gonna be utilizing that location to work more locally with um, processors who are here in the area, farmers, so that's part of my job, which is to work with local farmers to source and give them an outlet for their seconds or their ugly produce or um, product that they don't have a market for. And so I really focus on that and we'll be looking at the Blair and surrounding counties to be able to help both the farmer out to move some of their excess product and then those neighbors who are in need in this area. Great. If people are facing food insecurity or maybe they're interested in volunteering or donating, where should they go? Well, absolutely. I think our website is the, the best resource for them. There is also on the main homepage, centralpafoodbank.org, there's a, a link to look at all of our agency partners. And we have 1,100 of them across the 27 county territory. And so there's certainly one in your community. And uh, you can go right directly to that location if you're in immediate need for food or if you'd just like to get signed up for some regular food coming your way. Great. Yeah, they have plenty of different sites resources so no matter where you are in the 814 they're going to be able to uh, help you out with that erica yes. thank you so much thank you